Facebook, MySpace, text messaging, Yahoo Messenger, different ways that Generation X and Y is communicating with their family, friends, and loved ones. This generation is now being called Generation MySpace, the MySpace generation, a generation that's using the instantaneous messaging resources instead of the personal contact that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. A case study was done by Pace University on the digital relationships in the MySpace generation and this study was conducted to explore how subjects use social networking sites and instant messengers to engage in interpersonal relationships. This is Chris Foster, a member of the MySpace generation. He's an avid text messenger, MySpace and Facebooker. So we followed him around to better understand the life of someone within this new generation. Um, I I don't know if people use it to actually replace, um, you know, various forms of communication. Now it does replace, in an instance, um, the old time I call you, we talk on the phone sort of thing, because um, it allows you to actually communicate with other people, no matter where you are. Usually, you know, you can't sit in class or even in church or somewhere and call someone, but you can text. So I believe it does kind of. Um, minimize the oftentimes, you know, how we always call someone. But um, as far as eliminating those various types of communication, I don't believe so. Okay. And how often do you use your um, cell phone? For? Oh, um, every, probably every 30 seconds, every 30, 45 seconds or so. Um, because um, in my stead, I'm always, you know, doing something, handling some type of business or calling someone or someone calling me and different things like that. So I always use my phone. Yes, text messaging is the leading use for the cellular phones for the MySpace generationers. The Pace University study gives us some figures. It shows that 42% of the time that MySpace generationers use the phone for text messaging and 11% of the time very frequently. People are not only turning towards text messaging, but they're turning towards the World Wide Web, Facebook, Facebook and MySpace. MySpace. Other forms of communication that we use on a day-to-day -day basis to communicate with family and friends, but not actually on a one-to-one, face-to-face basis. Oh, unfortunately, um, I've become an addict, <laughs> so I use it every day, um, sometimes multiple times a day. I get, uh, actually speaking of text messages, I get my notifications directly to my phone from when someone sends me a message, saves with a friend, anything like that. Um, so I use Facebook and MySpace every day. The PACE study showed that 79% of participants reported accessing these sites at least once a week and 21% reported doing so several times a day. This demonstrates that there is a regular use of these sites among the participants that were interviewed for this research. Nevertheless, the participants did enjoy the ability to present themselves via a profile. The study also states that as characters in a story, Orton Rolls participants hope to fulfill and express, impression management is evident in how the participants describe their use of social networking sites. According to the study, some participants indicated that they did end up meeting face-to-face -face with friends they first met online, but this was an exception. While there was a degree of excitement and novelty associated with using these sites to meet new people, participants did acknowledge the friendships were superficial. When it comes to family, I think it all depends on what is, you know, what is, what is pertaining to what you're dealing with. Um, I know mainly my family, I don't really text my family unless they are at work or in class or something like that, then we'll send a text message. Otherwise, no, we'll normally call or, um, you know, like you say, see each other face to face. So um, with, when it comes to family, I mainly prefer actually talking to them. Christian is the exception to the rule. With maintaining relationships, many participants enjoyed using technology to support an expanded social network. And also many participants indicated they strongly prefer instant messenger as a way of staying in touch with friends compared to using a phone. One participant said, what I love most about using instant messenger is that I am not much of a phone person, so I get to keep in contact without the phone. It's informal, very informal, 
you can send a message they get it on their own time so you never have to worry about bothering somebody with it according to the study the management of relationships includes the ability to form new relationships as well as maintain existing ones all of the participants in this study indicated that technology played a role in their management of relationships with the creation of the iPhone this product is used for instant messaging text messaging also social networking and just for a plain cell phone Chris is one of the users of the iPhone for internet purposes for um, you know, browsing through YouTube um, for the GPS everything like that I do use more for that that I would use any other normal like, phone. It syncs with your computer all of your contacts. So everyone you know is in here with all their numbers, and I can simply scroll through them and find them. Or it's I also fast. You can do a fast scroll in. Sure, you can just with your finger flick up and down the list and find whoever you want to talk to. And I want to call someone, I just touch their name, and I see their numbers, their home number, their work number, whatever I want to call. I just touch it and start dialing it. And it's now calling. And that call. And if I want to check my voicemail, I just click voicemail, and we have something entirely new called visual voicemail. I can now go to any voicemail I want. I don't have to listen to each one in order to get to one. So if I want to hear this fifth one, I just click on it, and it will start playing that voicemail for me. So visual voicemail works really well. So it's the most advanced phone ever made and easy to use, too. But that's just one of many things it does. Not just a phone. I mean, it's a computer. Well, uh, but people don't think of their phones as computers, but there's a lot of high technology in here that does some amazing things. So in addition to being the world's most advanced phone, it is the best iPod that we've ever made. So if I just click the iPod button, I'm now in my music. I can look at it in many different ways. I can look at it by artist and, again, just touch the screen to flick up it and go to any one I want to listen to. I just click on that artist, and then I can see their albums, and I can click on any song I want and just start playing it. So, so you start playing it there, the album cover comes up? We know now that Facebook MySpace text messaging cannot substitute the interpersonal relationships. But if we are not careful that this communication can substitute the relationships that we should have one-on-one -on -one with each other. This interpersonal relationship is one that we can value very much so in this new age of communication where a simple SUP sup, can be substituted for the what's up, calling somebody on a cell phone and just talking to somebody, looking at them right in the face, getting to know that person one-to-one, -one, face to face, mono and mono. Well, we've learned all of these things. We've asked people questions. So what will you do to change your life? Will you um, succumb to, to text messaging? Text messaging? Or MySpace? My or will you put that aside a little bit? to contact your family members and your friends on a one-to-one -one basis and let them know what you're really saying. What are you really talking about? I hope you've enjoyed this project. I've enjoyed making it. Thanks and be well.